Jake here again, Tacticon Armament. Today we're going to be going over the Tacticon Battle Belt. Uh, we have three different sizes on this battle belt. Uh, we have a small, a medium, and a large, three different colors, FDE tan, olive drab, tactical black. Uh, for today's demonstration, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over uh, what the different sizes are, what they mean, how to size yourself prior to purchasing the product, and then how to uh, get it adjusted once you receive it, as well as putting some accessories on for today's demonstration. Uh, so let's dig in. So first we're going to go over uh, some of the sizes and what they mean. Uh, our small size uh, is a 30 to 33 inch waist. If you're a 30 to 30, 33 inch waist, the quick down and dirty way to be able to find uh, what belt size that you need is by taking whatever pant size you would normally buy. And in my case, I'm a 32 to 33, depending on the brand of pants. So it's 30 to 33 inch waist for a small, um, 34 to 39 inch waist for a medium, and a 40 to 46 inch waist for a large. But there is a better way to measure exactly what belt you need to get, and that is by measuring exactly uh, what, what the circumference is around your waist uh, with both your pants and your belt on because that's where the battle belt itself is going to sit. So uh, we do have a size chart that we're going to put up here for you and that size chart has the different sizes of what the belts expand to and extract to. The numbers that I'm about to give you are not actual waist size. Uh, they're, they're just the, the, length of the, uh, they're the length of the actual belt that, it, that you can reduce it to or expand it to. Uh, for your smalls, uh, you can reduce your smalls from 33 to 41, uh, so it'll reduce all the way down to 33 inches, all the way up to 41 inches. Then there's some overlap on the medium, uh, starting at 38 inches, all the way up to 47 inches, and then up to the large, uh, you can reduce that actual belt length down from 45 and expand it all the way out to 52. Um, so I'm gonna do a demonstration about, uh, let's say I'm about to purchase one of these, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what I would do prior to purchasing. Uh, I'm gonna find a wire, um, a string, a cord. I'll wrap this around my waist, around the outside of my pants, and the outside of my belt. Grab a ruler or a measuring tape and get the length of that. I'm right at about 40. So that measures at 40 inches on the circumference of my waist, on the outside of my pants, and the outside of my belt, which is where that battle belt is going to sit. Uh, that means I have two choices. Uh, because there's some overlap. Uh, our small will expand out to 41. Our medium will reduce down to 38. So I'm, I can technically fit in a small or a medium. If you do fall in one of these overlapping sizes, uh, it's just a matter of where you want your molly to sit. Uh, on a small, if I have to expand it out to that 40 inches that I just measured, um, it's going to put some of my, uh, some of my molly ladder out towards my side, not allowing me to, uh, to put anything on the front. Uh, inversely, if I go to a medium and I size it in, this molly is gonna end up towards the front of the buckle so I could put more gear up in the front. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this around my waist and just kinda see where I'm sitting at as, as it comes out of the package. So it's on, it's fitting fairly well for me right now, uh, but it's a little loose. Uh, you know, maybe could use probably a two inch adjustment. So I'm gonna make a little two inch adjustment on this and show you exactly how I do that. Inside, we've got the non-slip rubber pad. We're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is remove this pad. And then I'm gonna make my adjustments equal both on the left and the right side of the unit. So I'm gonna take this, undo it, and bring this in about an inch. And then I'll go ahead and reattach that Velcro. So I know exactly where I adjusted it to and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. That way it's equidistant. All right, once I've done that, you're gonna take this non-slip pad and you'll put it back as much in the middle as you can possibly get it. And I'll throw this back on my waist and see how it fits. 
So that's a lot better fit. It's nice and tight. It's not going to move around. It's not going to come up on me and it sits right around the outside of my belt on my pants. Uh, to get your attachments on, if you're not actually putting a holster on, I'll start with the, uh, uh, just the ladder attachments, right? So the, uh, um, the molly. Figure out where you want to place your attachment. Uh, these are our Tacticon mag pouches that we sell on the site. And if I want to roll these on my left side, because I'm a right-handed shooter, I'm going to undo these. I basically, I'll take these buttons, unsnap them, and these are the straps that are going to go inside of this laser cut molly right here. Uh, the best way to do this is bend it outward to kind of open up this hole in the laser cut ladder system there. So I'll open up that hole so that I can push this through it successfully. I'll do the same thing for this one right here. I'll kind of push in, open up the hole, slide it through. And then on the back side, I'll button it so that it can't come out. Now, if you do have a holster that doesn't attach directly to Molly, the way that you're going to do that is you'll actually remove this pad. And I'm going to put the holster on my right side because I'm right-handed. Here's the holster I'm going to be using. And clear that. Good. I'm going to take the firearm out of here initially. I'm going to start on the right side. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to pull this all the way out. I'll take the holster and I'll run it through where a belt loop would normally go and feed it into the exact location that I want it on the belt. So now that we've got that on, we're going to put the clip back on. So feed the uh, belt through the bottom of the clip and then back around through the top. And the last thing you'll do is take this uh, non-slip pad and put it back over the top of that. So now we've got mag pouches on the left, holster on the right. Clip this into place, you're ready to go. That's it for the battle belt demonstration today. If you guys have any questions, uh, you need some help with this, feel free to go to Tacticon.com. Plus you can uh, email us, shoot us a phone call. If you have any questions, we're here to help. Thank you.